Alright, so it's October 12th, and in two days, Apple is going to have a new notebook event. Um, they're going to release new MacBooks and everything. It's confirmed at this point in time. So I figured I'll just make a video getting my thoughts out there as to what I think we can expect. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. I have a little list here of things. So the first off, obviously I'm going to expect like new MacBooks like for all, like new like MacBooks, new MacBook Pros, and new MacBook Airs. And um, for each of these, I expect to have a few things, so there we go. Um, I'm going to expect probably 2 gigs of RAM like for the base model MacBook. Probably 2 gigs of RAM is going to be standard. I don't think we're quite at 4 yet for like just like standard. But I think maybe as we get into like the top of the model, like top model MacBooks, a 4 will probably be standard. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to start at 2 gigs of RAM and just going to go up from there. I think that for like all the MacBook and MacBook Airs. For MacBook Pro, maybe, I'm not really quite sure about that, because I, I don't really know how good MacBook Pros are to date, like, as compared to normal MacBook. So, that's pretty much what I think for RAM 2 gig standard, um, and for the higher end MacBooks, 4 gig standard. Um, 2.4 gigahertz standard, again, like for the base model, but I think maybe there's a chance that the top of the line model, like the top model MacBook, maybe three gigahertz. I'm, I don't even know about that because I know like the desktop iMacs go up to 3.06 gigahertz. So maybe that's I think maybe three gigahertz for a Mac Pro or a MacBook Pro, but maybe for MacBooks, maybe 2.8 for a top model, and I think 2.4 standard for the base model, and um, maybe. Next, moving on, maybe a new color, like for, because I know the MacBook Pros are like aluminum, so maybe they'll have an aluminum model MacBook, not MacBook Pro, or MacBook Air. So maybe they'll have like, the, the maybe they'll have a fourth MacBook, like maybe the two bottom ones white, the third one black, and maybe the fourth one aluminum, I'm not sure, but they might just stick with the aluminum for the Mac Pro, I'm not really sure, but just get my thoughts out there. And next, like the MacBook Air, I think all the MacBooks are going to have backlit keyboards. I think that would be really nice, like the MacBook Air tilts and it has the um, keyboard. So I think that would be really nice, just a nice addition. And also, I think Blu-ray drives are going to be in. Um, Blu-ray is definitely coming up in the news. You can buy a Blu-ray Blu Blu player for probably like $300 now. They're nowhere near as expensive. And the same thing happened with DVD players. Now you can buy a DVD player for 50 bucks. So um, Blu-ray is definitely going to be the next format. Like I've known that for a while, but it's like right around the corner now. Pretty soon you'll be able to buy Blu-rays for a semi-decent price. Um, Blu-ray is still really expensive to buy, like blank discs. So I think those will come down in price. Because I know um, there's like PC laptops out there now that have Blu-ray standard. So I think if Apple really wants to be ready for the next gen in laptops, they should include a Blu-ray drive. And also I think iLife 09 is going to be pre-installed. They probably have new iLife because it's almost the end of 08. So 09 is probably going to be pre-installed. So those are just a few of my basic thoughts. Just I just want to get a quick video out there. Nothing too in-depth, but just enough to just say what, just to get out there my thoughts and everything. So. If you have any comments, questions, whatever, you know, you can get, get me at any time, so thanks.